Hoi hoi, it's Lunasty again, and for this video, this is going to be the second part of the book series that I'm in the middle of. Hoorah! So these are books that I have uh, copies of, like physical copies, and yep, I'd like to share with you so that I kind of have some sort of a backtrack of like the books that I'm still in the middle of. To be specific, book series. So, <laughs> let's begin. So, I'm going to begin first with the books in the series where, honestly, I'm skeptical in continuing. Like, I would still be open in continuing them, but they're not exactly priorities. And some of these, I didn't have the best reading experience, but because I already have the succeeding book or books in the series, well, I guess I just gotta continue. So let me begin with Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Overall, my reading experience with this one was pretty decent. The story was okay. It missed some elements or elements that I'm looking for in a mystery story. And what captivated more to me would have to be the world of the Ellingham Academy and Vermont is uh, depicted in a beautiful manner in this book. Uh, what else? The characters are lovely, so if you are looking for stories where you would like to uh, meet characters that you think that you can imagine being friends with, I think that this book can be for you or this series is going to be for you. Now we have this as our book of the month for October 2020 for Blu-ray. Uh, book club, so yep. Um, I hope y'all joined us and you had a fantastic reading experience. But yeah, um, we'll see about if I'm going to proceed with Vanishing Stair. The next would have to be A Great and Terrible Beauty series by Libra Bray. Now, I've only read A Great and Terrible Beauty. Now, from what I recall, it does give you some sort of dark academia vibes, which is becoming a trend these days, especially with the release of books in relation to dark academia. There are, I think, a lot out there. Now, with my reading experience of this book, it was pretty okay. I gave it 3.5 out of 5, I believe. And it wasn't something that would make me prioritize succeeding books in the series because in order for me to buy the succeeding books, I believe I would need to make special orders or international purchases. Well, especially if it's going to be an international purchase on my own, you know, customs, mail you know, post. They don't exactly provide the best service and also yeah, Book Depository is not shipping right now in the Philippines, as far as I know. And like I said, uh, Post Office, Customs, it will take me like, you know, probably half a year before I get it. I'm going to give myself that allowance as opposed to doing special orders for it. Um, I can just leave that burden to, <laughs> to the bookstore and if it's really impossible to get it, uh, within a specific period of time then I can just withdraw and just face it. I'm not going to be buying it. I guess if I would like to continue with the rest of the series, I think this is going to be one of the books that I would keep an eye on if I'm going to be going to a books tour in the United States. I will look for the succeeding books in the series. I just don't feel like it's worth it for me to buy the succeeding books knowing that my experience with this one isn't the I mean, it wasn't. It was. I like. It was okay. It was decent. It wasn't something that is good or great or marvelous or tremendous. Um, but yeah, if you folks, especially folks in the Philippines, if you're selling the succeeding books, feel free to put down in the comments if you know anyone who is selling the succeeding books, and I might think about if I'm going to uh, buy one. And so the last one for. The books in the series that are not exactly priority or I'm just going to continue because I have the uh, succeeding books in the series. That would be Six of Crows by Lee Bordugo. Now if you've watched my reading vlog or even if you haven't watched it yet, um, let me tell you I had a painful reading experience with this one and the story follows a Kaz Brecker 
uh, forming a team where they're going to do this heist that you know they're going to grab this uh, sort of element or material that's going to give them unlimited wealth now that seems promising and in some scenes it made sense and it made you oh that's going to be great for them but overall my reading experience the events the way that they were synthesized were all over the place and it was just like ah, i mean blah and the ending though gave a little bit of glimmer for me to continue and because i already have a crooked kingdom at that shelf over there um i guess i am gonna continue with it but you know um if i didn't buy crooked kingdom i would have dnf this series so yeah and a lot of folks told me that Cricket Kingdom is great, it's a lot greater than Six of Crows. Six of Crows was something that was just made to sort of have a build up to what Cricket Kingdom is going to be in store for. And I hope it does live up to all these feedback that I'm getting. I really hope so. I mean, I'm not just hoping to have a likable or decent reading experience with Cricket Kingdom. I'm hoping for a true man this one. Please, please. <laughs> so next would be the books in the series that I liked and that I enjoyed or I loved and I'm pretty much excited to read the succeeding books. Now these books are in no particular order. Let me begin with the Isle of the Lost by Melissa De La Cruz. Now, I did a reading vlog of this one. It was a decent experience. I liked it. It was a good start. Now, there were some things that I think I pointed out that could be improved. Um, but overall, I'm excited to read the next book, which is, I think, the title is The Return to the Isle of the Lost. And... I'm just excited to read this middle grade fantasy, uh, kind of like you get to know more about the stories behind the Disney villains. Next would have to be the Moi Moi Lulun Boy series. Now I've only read uh, Moi Moi Lulun Boy and Batana Swang, which is the first book in the series. Now I have a book review of this in uh, Tagalog slash Filipino language. It has English subtitles, so don't worry about, you know, if ever that. Um, you don't understand the Tagalog or Filipino, I put English subs there. And I really like this book, I, I think it was also a good start. And I really appreciate one of the uh, social media personnel of Segundo Matias. Um, so I think saw my post on Instagram and I guess the person watched the review because I said that this is a great uh, fantasy read and getting into Philippine mythology, Philippine fantasy. So I'm really excited to next succeed in books. I want to read them physically, or rather read them uh, with the physical uh, copies of the book, of our, the books I should say, because I believe that uh, the books in the series are available in Wattpad, so you can, folks can also read that. Um, it's a challenge looking for the succeeding books, but I believe um, I'd be able to buy them soon. Hopefully when I get to visit bookstores again, I would see the second book and I'm going to purchase it. And I'm excited to, you know, just continue with this wonderful world and I'm just excited to know what's going to be in store in the, you know, in the next books in the series. The next book series that I'm going to talk about would be The Shatter Me series by Tahira Mafi. Now, I only have read until The Stormy by Tahira Mafi. And to me, Shatter Me had a rough start. You all know how I felt about Shatter Me if you've watched uh, some of my previous videos. And I have a book review of the first three books as well as this one, Stormy. And it was great that it ascended like my reading experience with succeeding books got better and better and so far this one is the best i like how it talked about governance in a different manner leadership and it did give me that vibe which to me is what i was looking for since the beginning and it uh, 
was given to me a lot more during the fourth book. The only concern I had in the fourth book was the whole uh, revival of the slash slash writing style that, you know, that kind of at times kind of made me feel weird, especially during uh, Shatter Me. Um, but yeah, this one really to me uh, was able to depict images of a dystopian world. Um, and I know a lot of folks like the first three books more, but I think so far I like this one a lot better than any of the uh, first three, especially like the first two. The other, you know, this one is a lot better. And I'm excited to read the succeeding books. I haven't heard the best feedback about the last book, which I think it is Imagine Me, but I think that kind of helps me when it comes to my reading experience because if people say that they didn't have the best reading experience, sometimes it becomes better for me. I don't know, maybe it's because it manages my expectations, but I'm hoping for the best with Define Me and Imagine Me. The next would have to be a Hindu mythology inspired middle grade series and it is one of the books in the Rick Ryan Morgan Presents imprint and that is Arusha series, well this is also called the Pandava Quartet. Now I've read Arusha in the end of time which is the first book and I have a book review of it and overall I like it, it's a pretty good start. I really would love to know more about the situations and the stories in this world and I'm excited for the next adventure. It was a fun, enjoyable read, um, and it's a good start. And I'm just excited about Aru and Mimi's journey, and you know, in this realm. And I just want to know what more they can give and their capabilities, um, and what are these uh, circumstances and battles that they're gonna face. So. I am definitely excited for it. And the last series that I'm going to be talking about in this video would be Heroes of the Olympus series. Now I have here House of Hades by Rick Riordan. This is the fourth book in the series. I have yet to read The Blood of Olympus, which I already have a copy of it. I'll just wait for my fate jar to make me pick it or for me to pick it from my fate jar. And so far, this is a very long adventure. This book, as you can see, it's quite thick, but it has a lot of action-packed quests that they were in, the situations they were in, were very intriguing and exciting. And there's a lot of things that happen here that would leave you marked. And for the fans, you all know about Nico. That revelation shook me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just excited about you know the part where um, you know uh, the rest of the gang, aside from Annabeth and Percy, about the return of you know Athena's statue, if I got it correctly, um, their quest going back there and the uh, succeeding adventures of Percy and Annabeth. I'm excited about what's going to happen, and I'm excited to read Blood of Olympus, and hopefully it's going to bring me a great, a tremendous reading experience. So far, my favorite ha would have to be Lost Hero because this pipe it's you know, it could be quite long and thick as well, you know, compared to the other books, of course, in the uh, uh, Rick Ryan Warden verse uh, world, especially if you're going to compare it to the first series of Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, it'd be quite long, but every single part of it was an adventure and I really liked it. And so far that is the one that had like a perfect five. The others were pretty high as well. This one in particular, I gave it 4.75 out of five. So that is kind of rounded up to five out of five in Goodreads. So I'm just excited to read what's gonna happen next in the Heroes of the Olympus series. So those are the books in the series that I'm in the middle of. So feel free to comment down below the book series that you're in the middle of. And are you going to prioritize continuing them? Let me know in the comments down below. And feel free to suggest other book series that, you know, that I may consider you know, reading and be interested about. And so I guess that's about it. If you folks like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon somewhere down there to keep yourselves posted about my videos. 
also putting down links and handles of my social media accounts. So feel free to check me out and follow me there as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let us keep in our minds and our hearts to be loving and kind and unleash the reader in you. Bye y'all.